In the previous episode we explained the ratio scale and today we are going to show you how to use this ratio scale in order to calculate distance, the real distance. Now firstly let, let's quickly recap. We were using a ratio scale of 1 to 50,000. Let's take a look at it again. Now we are going to use this ratio scale 1 to 50,000. Let's write it down. One. To 50,000 and we said that one centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters in real life so if you would go to that certain area in real life you will find that it is, it is uh, 50,000 centimeters long so let's say for example you've got a map and on this map you take your ruler and you measure one centimeter let's say this is a street right there and there is a shop over here and there's another shop over there okay so let's just make an S for shop and another S for shop and you measured one centimeter between the one shop and the other now on your map it is only one centimeter but if you go to that place in real life you will find that it is 50,000 centimeters so this is exactly what this scale is telling us this one centimeter we said equals is equal to 50,000 centimeters now obviously we are not going to say listen you go down the street there's a shop there on your right hand side then you go 50,000 centimeters further and you'll get to the next shop no we want to say something like meters or kilometers or something like that so how do we convert centimeters to kilometers very simple you are going to divide by 100,000 why do we divide by 100,000? Because there's 100,000 centimeters in one kilometer. Right. Now, if we divide 50,000 centimeters by 100,000, then it will give us an answer of 500 meters. So, in other words, this little distance that you see here on your map from, from this shop to that shop equals or represents 500 meters meters in real life now we are going to look at the map once again and we are going to physically measure the distance between two different places and then calculate the distance we're going to take it from the highest point um, on Volvacop which is indicated by the triangle there and then we're going to measure all the way to the golf course we're going to take it to the right to the middle of the golf course and uh, we will find that it's more or less exactly 15 centimeters right now that we've taken the measurement and we know that it's 15 centimeters between those two places we can write it down and we can say 15 centimeters and we all know that the scale is 1 to 50,000 now firstly let's write that method down the, mes the, the method says distance on map times scale of map okay so the distance on the map is 15 centimeters and the scale of the map is 50,000 okay now this will give you an answer of 750,000 centimeters now, like I said, you're never going to say to your friends, listen, I went for a jog yesterday, I ran 750,000 centimeters. No, you are going to convert this to kilometers, so you're going to say divide it by 100,000. I'm just going to move it down here, make sure everybody can see, divide it by 100,000 in order to convert it to kilometers, and it will give you an answer of 7,5 kilometers. That is how simple it is. People now... Some of the students in my class might ask me, sir, but listen, um, what if the scale is different? What if the scale is 1 to 80,000? It stays exactly the same. The whole method, everything stays exactly the same. If we had a scale here of 1 to 80,000, then obviously the number that we'll come to over here will be a lot bigger. But then we still divide by 100,000 and it will still give us the, the, um, the right answer. I think most of the time you will find that you work in centimeters but there might be situations where you have to measure in millimeters 
then the only thing that changes is this amount. Then you divide by 1 million. So if you work in millimeters, you are going to divide by 1 million in order to convert it to kilometers, but the method will stay exactly the same. Now on the next screen you will find a few examples that you can work out in your own time. When you get to that screen remember to, to press pause so that you can complete your calculations and then as soon as you've completed it you press play again and then you'll see how many of those calculations you managed to do. So let's take a look. Thanks once again for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to my channel. You never know these videos might be a lifesaver before your next test or exam.